All right, guys. Today, I'm going to try and save you some money and talk about the hype of Rocket Lab companies. So there's a huge amount of hype in this very speculative stock that does, is not profitable, does not make any money, has pays $50 million in stock-based compensation, which is 23% of its revenue it just gives to the people who work for it. So what is the hype about? It's a space company launches satellites just signed a 500 million contract with a space agency and it's in the space industry that's what gets a lot of hype people know the space industry is just in the beginning and people want to make money from investing to it into it and they can't invest it in into stocks like spacex and instead of going around and finding other different ways to invest into this into spacex which is very possible they look at crappy companies like this so if you didn't guess so i'm not very bullish on rocket lab companies and today i'm going to go over why you should not invest into it this is not financial advice so this company has been around since 2006 it has been founded by a new zealand guy who owns 11 percent of the company of its shares and no no insiders are currently buying this stocks no insiders are buying stocks of this company at all they're only selling it not huge amounts but they're selling it so using stock unlock we're just going to go over some quick little things to look at some stats while you're still here just hear me out so revenue growth next year projected revenue growth people get stuck over this like projected stuff do not buy into a company that's unprofitable any value investor will see the flaws in this company and will not trust it so let's take a look at it one thing they do have is they have a good balance sheet they have about 500 million in cash but what is what is a good balance sheet when you're not making any money on on the money look at look at this rate on investment capital negative 30 percent stock based compensation as a percent of revenue 23 percent so 23 percent of their uh, revenue is being given to the people who work in the company for doing a crappy job with the company. They're doing good things and bad things, but there's an analogy, those who are close to the fire get warm. All right, so hear me out. So this company has a little fire here and you're an investor out here and you're throwing money to the fire and that fire is only warming up the people that are inside the company because they're using that money put it in their pockets and get rich off it. So boom, what I want to tell you guys, let's go over some other stats and stuff. Let's go over the insider buying and selling what I've been talking about. So we look at this, boom, boom, boom. Where is this Becker guy? This bitch, ownership. So Beck Peter, he is the CEO and founded the company. He has sold 6.6% of his shares and this company has only been around since 2021. So why do companies go public? To get money from the public. That's really about it. So they can fund their operations because this is a long-term play. Anyone investing in this company, you have to understand that you're investing to get your money back within the next 5, 10, 20 years. And do you trust this company that they're going to do that when the CEO of itself himself is selling it, selling the shares? Just... just shows bearish signs so they do have vanguard and blackrock investing obviously and they are filling up their their bags of this company and the analysts are quite positive about the company not no crazy growth actually that's pretty crazy growth right now they're about six dollars per share and they are expected to be profitable within the next year or two those are great things to hear take a look at the balance sheet the goods so they have 30% in cash. Liabilities, 360 million assets, 950 million, which are very low in goodwill. This is quite low, only 10% intangible, about 10%. So they do have about, set, let's say, 700 million, which is pretty good. And well, it means they're a well-funded company, which is what you want to see in a company that is not profitable. The revenue is growing, but as you can see, it is not getting profitable. And the space industry, the way I believe it's going to go, it's going to be a monopoly, just like most industries are, where there is a lot of money. 
And so, for example, there is, uh, let's go over the investor presentation. So how many satellites are they sending out? That's one of the things. They have seven satellites sent out, which might seem like a big number. But if we go and take a look as how many satellites have SpaceX deployed, 5,400. And they plan to expand to 12,000 satellites. 12,000 satellites versus, let's say they get 100, that's, that's nothing. SpaceX can eat these guys. They can buy them out of anything, but they're not going to buy them out, obviously. These, this company doesn't have anything that SpaceX doesn't have. And what are they looking at right, uh, doing? I'm going to link this below in the video so you can go through the inv investor presentation. They're doing a little bunch of testing right now, and that's what they're using the money for. So if you look here, critical neutron development milestone achieved in Q3, testing being done, testing being done, testing being done, testing being done, testing being done. And now they're going to build the engine. So they're really far away from their goals. So this is a very speculative position you should be uh, building if you're still choosing to invest in the company. Because there are good things I see in the company. I'm not all too bearish on it, but it's just something I would stay away from. Look at the revenue. They're getting revenue from uh, two different things. There's the space systems and there's the launches they're doing. They plan to be making about 22 launches, I believe, next year. And if you look at this, Q3 2023, if we can, uh, compared to Q2 23, 2023, it's going down. It actually went down. Oh, what? It did go down. Yeah, the research. Oh, they're. they're spending less money in research and development because they're not very profitable so they want to be use their money to go as far as possible and if you look at this the revenue projections right now they're making about let's say 70 million for 2023 for 2024 they want to be making about 100 million which is a huge increase not a double but not too far away but is it worth the money I don't know, guys. Tell me what I'm missing. I understand that they have a half a billion contract going on. It was very positive for the company, but I just I don't see. Let's see how much of the how much of the people are getting paid at the company. If you look uh, over here, so the CEO is. I think I believe this is beside the stock based compensation. He's getting eight hundred k, eight hundred thousand. So the CEO. If you look at a good CEO, he wants to take as much, reinvest as much money as he can into the company. If you look at Elon Musk, he does not sell his shares very often. Instead, he just puts all his money into the companies that he is working on because he believes them and knows, knows if he invests in them now, they will be worth more in the future. We don't see the same from the CEO. Does he really need $800,000? Why does he need $800,000 right now? He's already... A billionaire he owns 11 percent of the company this is just like just grinds in my gears guys to see billionaires like this take money away from your hard your take your hard earned money and put it in their pockets the same thing happened with virgin virgin galactic if you know virgin galactic galactic holdings this is a little a way different thing this is a space tourism but let's, let's see what happened to these guys. Nothing good. Nothing good. The speculation wore off. But these guys had no revenue. So the good thing about Rocket Labs is they, they do have revenue. Which is a huge positive. But still not profitable. They have earnings coming out in March. So we'll, we'll see a um, more up-to-date situation that they're in. Look more at the numbers. But yeah, I'm not too bullish on the company. And I would say do your research wisely and invest only the money you can lose yeah that's about it. that's all i really wanted to talk to you guys about Ooh.